Let's get right into it, y'all. I so everybody know recently Cam Newton was caught out in his own camp that he funded by one of the campers that was uh at the camp. And I feel like we can definitely learn a lot from this situation, y'all. I feel like we can learn that I think the sports world is so enamored by the greats that we forget how great these athletes really are, bro. Like, let's just take let's take the worst player you can think of in the NFL. Nine times out of ten, that worst player that you can think of is a million times better than your ass. A million, trillion, billion, billion, quintillion. The average person. Some of y'all couldn't even start in damn high school. For real. Like, some of y'all couldn't start in high school. And this kid out here just disrespecting Cam Newton. Like, this is how people think, man. This is how the sport world is just so messed up, in my opinion. I feel like um, people tend to forget that these people are, like, phenomenal athletes. Bro, they there for a reason. We take, we take the people at the top and we just pit them so high above everybody else that we we even just diminish what people have done. We make people who are backups or people who are just not as great as the elites like Tom Brady's, the Patrick Mahomes. We pit people, even Tua. Like Tua get a lot of slack. Bro, this man is a champion. So let's get back to the Cam Newton situation. Let's, let's stick strictly to Cam Newton, right? We just strictly stick to Cam Newton. The average high, the average player, bro, will never do any, and I mean any of the things this man could accomplish his career. The most people will not ever win a championship. Y'all ain't winning rec leagues at LA Fitness, and you got the nerve to sit here and talk about this man, bro. Y'all ain't win y'all flag football uh, recreational tournament at y'all. You didn't win that. Y'all ain't win that. Y'all lost. Let's 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 go through the accolades. Let's go through the accolades. Junior college won a championship. Then he transferred to Auburn. Mind y'all, he started off at Florida. This man went to Florida. He was playing at another SEC school. Florida. Love went to junior college. Won. Came to Auburn. This man went to Auburn and won his first year. It didn't take multiple years. He won his first year in the ACC. Then went on to be the first pick in the NFL draft. Let me do. Let's do some. Let's do some. Let's do some. Right, right, right. Okay. Let's just let's just do that. Some of y'all still in junior college. Uh, it's a heap of y'all in junior college and still losing. I ain't even starting. So let that sink in, bro. This man is amazing, bro. Like not to take anything. This dude. This high school kid was hyper disrespectful. Hyper, because this man has accomplished something that you've never done in your life, and you should be, you know, picking his brain trying to get that. And no matter how compared, I know he apologized. I know he apologized. Ain't no damn excuse for that, bro. If if someone did something that you did successfully, include, bro, as much as you want to bur- belittle him for his what he at right now in his career, you cannot diminish what this man has done, which half the world will never do. Let's, so let's look this up. Cam Newton. No. <laughs> the NFL draft started in 1936. With that being said, we do the math, we pull out the calculator. What's the calculator? Two thousand twenty-one. Mine is nineteen thirty-six. That means it's been eighty-five NFL drafts to this day. Eighty-five. This man was one out of eighty-five people to go number one in the NFL draft. Some of y'all don't go number one in y'all pickup games. 
Some of y'all don't go number one. Let that sink in. Some of y'all don't get picked first in y'all pickup games. And we be talking about folks trash. Cam Newton, rookie of the year. Two thousand eleven, Ricky of the year. Okay, so we can go back and say, "Whoa, damn! How many Ricky of the years has it been?" He's done that. That means out of all the rookies that were drafted in the seven rounds, he was the best rookie out of all of them. Do y'all let that sink in? Cam Newton, MVP. Cam Newton, between 2013 and 2017, had the most three division titles? Three division titles, bro. Some people never, bro, this dude had three division titles. Let that sink in, bro. And you telling man this man sorry? Bro, because what, his career took a change in direction? I'm I'm not even a, a Cam Newton fan. I'm from Alabama, bro. I hate Auburn. My homeboy is from uh, Auburn fan. I, I I detest Auburn. All right, I'm a UN fan to the day I die. But you have no choice. But to, even Alabama fans have to respect this, bro. Look, as a as a as a player, as a someone who loves sports, you have to respect what this man has done. You it just goes with it, bro. It led him to a 15 and one record. Made the Super Bowl. So many people, y'all are never gonna make the Super Bowl. Come on, man. What is wrong with y'all, bro? This kid, man, bro. And, and, I, and I blame social media, man. I blame sports media because we are part of the problem, bro. We They they do it. I, we just, we quit to say someone fell off or they ain't GOAT status. We quit to say, oh, this person, this, that, and third. And it just make people who, uh, imagine if your brother made it to the NFL and he was a backup quarterback his whole career. We cannot take it. We cannot take take away the fact that your brother is in the NFL. That means your brother is elite compared. He can go anywhere in the any world and still be elite because he's just that good, bro. You cannot diminish the, these backups. Where at some point, amazing, bro, amazing. Anybody who played even D three college, I played. Uh, I play in this flag football league, and I can definitely feel the skill gap when I'm out there, bro. And it's not that I'm trying to be uh, like I'm better than somebody, but I didn't notice how much I know because you don't know how much you know or what you don't know until you start learning. And then you realize, hey, I don't really know as much as I can. It's that big a gap, bro. It's that big a gap. It's like, it's like, it's like, bro, he's here and you're here. No, like he's here, up here, and you are here. And you gotta understand, bro, you not that guy, bro. Whatever you think you know, this man has already done it. Even if you turn out to be, let's say you, he, this kid turned out to be a Pro Bowl player. Cam Newton's done that. Let's say he get drafted in the seventh round. Cam Newton was drafted in the first round. First pick, MVP, Super Bowl appearance. We gotta stop this, man. It's gotta stop. At some point, bro, we gotta stop treating players, uh, Saying players garbage because they coming off the bench at, at the highest level. Uh, at some point, we got to stop this man. Bro, I, I'm guilty of it, too. I, I, I can't lie. But at some point, we do, it's so – it just puts so much pressure on you to be great in everything you do. It's crazy. It's crazy, man. Put too much pressure on anybody to be great. Because it, it just it gets to the point where you're like, damn, what the what the hell do I gotta do to be considered someone that you respect? Like I I made a Super Bowl, I'm first pick. I won two championships. Is that not greatness? 